right, I made it back to the warehouse. Welcome back to the channel. I got some death pile to go through. If I'm gonna double down on eBay, I need to pull the right inventory. I got Christmas coming up, some decorations. Let me see what I can find. I think I, that fell over. That's gonna need to be fixed before I leave. Anyway, well, I, uh, that's for sale if anybody wants to buy it. I'm supposed to be repairing that now, but everything is, everything stopped once eBay stopped. It's, it was things I want to do, and now it's a necessity to do. <laughs> so I got some music sheets to pull. Uh, fairly organized but it's still a little mess I got a shipping area that I was supposed to set up the first by the first of the year I wanted to be shipping out of here but I now have to figure out if eBay is ever gonna have a heartbeat or a pulse and um, other items my like fishing gear my kayak workstation on my death pile clothes which probably will be donated I'm gonna be uh, narrowing my focus pull inventory that collectible smalls gonna keep the inventory uh, at the home for now music, I got bells, I got all sorts of stuff in here. It's gonna be anyway, this is the plan. I am um, doing everything I can to keep the hand on the heartbeat, the pulse, and um, it just seems like it's after every update, it takes, it's taking longer this time. It seems like a lot of the boards are saying it's a, uh, they're messing around with item specifics, meaning they're messing around with search. So, I really don't want to, well, here's one of my, that's cool. That was a, uh, when I patented my product, the members at the country club gave me 15 grand to produce it. I am, um, that product is called the stable stick. It held a cell phone and you're able to put it in a base and take it out of the base and stick the stick into the ground. And it was kind of a multiple purpose tripod. I just kept on getting bad parts from China and cheap. And every time I spend money, it was coming back worse. So I wouldn't, wouldn't uh, didn't pass quality control. And it got to a point where I was spending a lot of money and uh, I shut it down, but it was fun. Okay, so I got some work to do. Let me see if I can get a carload of inventory to list. All right. It's nice and cool in here too. It's been real hot. All right. I'm gonna break up some of these old vintage golf bag tags from around the world. And I'm gonna sell the frames locally to see if Facebook Marketplace has anybody's interested in them. That'll be my test, and then I have a few hundred of them over here. Bag tags from all sorts of places. You know, change, I'll sell the change later. It's all foreign change, so I just have to start working on these little projects. It looks like I'm gonna be bringing my fishing tackle so I can get away for half hour to an hour 
my local pond, help me regroup, refocus. And uh, I pulled some music sheets so far. I got about 300, 400 music sheets. I uh, pulled some vintage miniature charger footballs. Uh, I've already sold one that was my test run to see what the price is. And they sold pretty quickly, so I need to bring more. And let me find some more product. All right, bring in some trains. I got quite a bit of trains here. I'm gonna go through them. I got some paper, postcards, and maybe some matches. I don't think matches or long tail. I hope it'll stay for a while. Yeah, so these trains. We got. 14 totes of trains to go through. I know some of them are going to be sold as is. It's I don't need the returns. Restoration job, basically. Take a close look at the photos, determine what's wrong with them. You know, just really vague and and those people out there, they don't have, you know, they're retired. They love to have the frame and work on it and make it fit their set. So instead of me saying, oh, they're perfect shape, I just, I go the opposite way. So they have less expectations. And when they get them, they already kind of know that they're sold as is. So that's, uh, that could be a week or so, two weeks of work. I need to get these up. I need to get them out of here. It'll be, be nice. I do have a pretty big death pile. <laughs> and uh, anybody that needs a Model A, Model A 1929, let me know. It's a beautiful shape. When we parked it 15 years ago, it was running but it hasn't started since. So, all right, let me get these in the car and keep digging. All right, all right. Found my walking shoes, I got two pairs now. No reason to be carrying this weight. So I got my music sheets in there, my extra scrap if I needed it. Got some vintage hats. I got a whole bunch of cross stitching items. Grandmother's gonna love me. Thread, iron. Wait, I got nutcracker in here. Let's go into a new box. Yeah. Go ahead, fix the box or put it in a new box. Make sure all the parts are there. I know it's a it's a rare one. Last time I put priced it, it was like near the hundreds. Hundred, I mean. The cross stitching items, I like doing these little fabric items. They like these lots of fabric or vintage. I got tons of them. I got boxes and boxes of them. I'll put seven of the same brand, different colors, and list them for $14, $2 item. And uh, they grab them because they, you know, it's like normally $2 plus shipping, individual. And I'll make it where um, it's a valuable. And the only issue is they'll ask me once in a while to mix them up. Oh, will you take the such and such number now? <laughs> Sorry. And then the cross stitching. There might be some magazines in here. More fabric. More sketch stitching items. I'll go through this. I. I bought a huge, huge lot. I've had them. I mean, I listed already a couple thousand units, and I still have two or three thousand more of this stuff. And that's like full unopened. Some somebody was just buying them and using them as decoration. So when we cleaned out, they cleaned out the house. 
they were all new. Most of them were new. She would start for a week and then stop just doing very little of a project and then a lot of stuff was like never been never been touched. A whole bunch of stuff in here. Like examples. Now she that was 25 years ago. I still have a package. So yep. That's gonna go in there. So I got trains, I got some music sheets, I got cross stitching, I got football, I got whew, I got some packaging for home for supplies. Alright. 58 seconds to get out of here. I'll be back soon. I got enough to list until Christmas and um, try to use this more next year. Thanks for watching. Please, if you get a chance, hit that like button. Like and subscribe. You guys have a great day.